right guys, today we're gonna to teach you how to program an NFC business card. Today um, we're gonna be going over just Tap tag, they're the ones sponsoring this video. And just keep in mind, this is not a review. This is simply an unbiased video about how to program a business card, an NFC business card, sorry. Um, I do like Tap tag the best though. I think they have one of the most elegant looking cards. It's simple. Um, this is their bamboo card and this is their metal card. Um, just really nice looking, it has a chip there in the back. The bamboo card doesn't have a chip, it's actually inside of it, um, so you can't even see it. We do like Tap tag just because they are one of the most affordable NFC business cards in the industry, especially when it comes to the metal ones. Definitely check it out. So we're gonna do a quick unboxing of a brand new tap tag that was pre-programmed by them, and then we'll jump right into it and learning how to program these puppies. So it comes to you in this uh, this brown envelope. What's cool about it is it's etched into it. It's not printed on, so you could actually feel the writing here. It's pretty cool. Let's open this up real quick. Um, after you purchase a tap tag, you'll get a confirmation email, and in that email, they ask you if you want the tag to be pre-programmed. Um, all you have to do is respond to that email with the link, and they will uh, pre-program the tags for you. So this one we got pre-programmed. Let's open this up here. Um, so very cool looking. Brand new, no fingerprints, nothing. Looks really nice, really elegant looking. It's almost reflective, the, the text there. And uh, like you see, you see the chip in the back of it. It's just their simple brand image. And I got this pre-programmed with LinkedIn here, so let me just unlock this with my face. And we'll touch this, boom. All right, so this goes to uh, Dwayne Ford's LinkedIn profile. Really sweet looking. Just some things you can do with TabTag. It doesn't have to be your LinkedIn. Uh, my personal favorite is to use uh, Linktree or Contact in Bio. And this pulls up all your information. So it has my website, my Instagram, my Facebook. It has links to Venmo me. Um, I'm a videographer, so weddings. Um, really cool stuff, it has my phone number, my email, it's, it's it's really easy to do, really easy to program. A couple other things too, you could uh, touch these cards and this one, let's see. This one goes to a random inspirational quote. So every time you tap this and go to their website, it'll be a random quote, um, which is really cool. Just, just showing you a lot of cool things you could do with this. So just some background information, these tags hold 186 bytes of memory, which comes to about 35 characters of information. Um, pretty much any link these days are going to be under 35 characters, so almost anything's going to fit. So let's say that we wanted to reprogram these cards, because they, they do advertise that these are reprogrammable chips. You could change the contents of it whenever you want. I know that's one edge they have over competitors. Um, competitor apps typically lock you out. when you Once you tap the card the first time, you're locked out. You can't add or subtract anything else from that point forward. You can't add another website or anything like that. So one cool thing is these are reprogrammable. You could change them infinitely. So we'll go over how to change this real quick. How to uh, reprogram. So like I said, this goes to um, this LinkedIn network for, for Dwayne Ford here. We're gonna change it to go to say my Instagram. Super easy to do. So there's a free app on the app store called NFC Tools. You just click that. So we first have to download this of, of course. So let me just exit out of the app and we'll start from scratch here. So NFC Tools. It opens you up to this page here. So it gives you a couple different options. We don't want to read the tag because most phones these days do that for us, so we don't have to hit read. Um, so we want to hit write because we're going to add new information to this card. So we're going to hit write. It brings you to this screen now here. So let's zoom in there. So up next, we want to add a record. We want something to show up here in this black. So I'll show you what that means in just a second. So we're going to hit add a record. These are all the different things you could add to an NFC chip, um, and especially these cards. So add your location, all contact information, mail. The easiest one to do is either just custom URL, which is pretty much any link in existence. You could do Instagram.com slash your username if you wanted to, or the, the this app kind of does that for you if you hit social network. So these are the, would be the only two I recommend. So you hit social network. And we're going to click, uh, these are all the different social networks that exist here. We're just going to hit Instagram. And I'm going to type in my username, which is that drone guy Ty. All right, and we hit OK. So now we hit OK, it brings us back to this page. And now there's something on this screen down here. Um, that's, what, that's what we want. And you can see it, it uh, comes to 33 bytes of information. So one other thing to note about metal cards, NFC does not work through metal. That's, that's not these chips, that's any NFC chip. Um, metal just blocks it out completely. So this is not gonna work through the front of the card at all, but it does work just fine through the back of the card. So that's totally acceptable, whatever. You just flip it over when you're showing people, no big deal. Um, so let's get back into it, back in the app here. I just added my Instagram, we're gonna hit right, and saying touch 
or approach the NFC tag. So now it wants to write anything it's about to touch. So we're gonna to touch this and it just wrote this tag with my Instagram information that I just did. And to prove that, we'll hop out of the app here. And we'll just touch the tag again. And it's gonna be my Instagram that pulls up now. Boom, there we go. So that's how easy it is to reprogram a tag or you could program it yourself. When you, if you don't respond to tap tags email, they'll just send you the tag with a website link to their website that shows you how to program it with everything I just labeled out for you using the NFC tools app, like I said, which is free. My first try maybe took me a minute and a half, but it's pretty straightforward. They, they really lay out the steps nicely for you. And uh, I'm just gonna show you a couple close-ups of all the cards here. So this, this card is bamboo and it's real bamboo. It's, it's very light actually. They laser etch the name of whatever you want into it. It could be your business name, it could be your personal name. And they're just really sleek looking, easy, very light. Um, the, these cards work from the front or back, which is cool. And that's just because it's wood. Like I said, metal doesn't work so well with the NFC, but as long as it's from the back of the card, it works just fine. Metal cards are very heavy. They feel really good in your hand. They don't bend at all. They're, they're thick. They feel like that black Amex card. Uh, this is laser etched in here. It's really nice. It's almost reflective. I'll just drop it real quick for you. Just to on my Mac. They feel really good. They're very loud. They really make a statement about you or your business. Um, I highly recommend these, these are just really cool cards overall. I just personally think anybody should have an NFC business card just because it eliminates you having to continuously buy regular business cards and, and hurt the trees, waste the environment. People lose them anyway. This is a way just to show who your client or your friends who you really are, that you're, you're just a really cool person, that you're on the cutting edge of new technology. I, I just, I love showing people these cards. Everybody I've met is like infatuated. It's almost like magic because so many people don't know that these exist. We touch their phone and their phone reacts to it. They didn't even know that was a setting their phone had. Like it's, it's just really cool overall to just play with these and uh, just always keep it in my wallet and just show my friends. I know I didn't go more in depth about how to program different types of things into the card, but essentially it's the same thing I just did. You just go into the custom URL this time and just add any website link as if you were sharing it with your friend. You just copy paste it right into there and it's the same thing from there. You just hit the button and approach NFC tag. Um, I do have another video that goes a little bit more in depth into programming different things in there. I'll leave that in the link as well. Otherwise, that is it everyone and thank you so much for watching.